Positively, Jack's on a mission. A devoted group of local Muslims has been quietly serving our community, providing much-needed medical care for some people who cannot afford it. They've been doing it for years, offering more than 5,000 doctor's appointments at a St. John's Bluff clinic without charging a penny. And they've done this with little to no recognition. It's a medical mecca. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci shows us how their acts of goodwill are saving lives and healing hearts. Any swelling in your feet, hands? Hey, there, yeah, but it's, it's going down, too. Zachary Tilly has had a rough year. He had a stroke and heart problems. Those medical issues made him lose his job and his insurance. I had lost my job because I couldn't work at the time when I had the, the stroke and stuff. Just pretty normal. With no money to pay for the bills, he wasn't able to get the treatment that he needed until someone referred him to this clinic. If it wasn't him, I don't know. Tilly's able to come here and see a number of top-notch doctors for free. It's a huge blessing in his time of need. Thank you so much. He's one of more than 2,000 patients at Muslim American Social Services, a small office with a big impact. Right from the first time, actually, the uh, response was overwhelming. And that time we realized the need in the community. Dr. Mohammed Ilyas is one of the founders. Since 2009, he and 30 other doctors from all different specialties have volunteered their time here, treating Jacksonville's underprivileged and sick. All for free. All for free. No charge to patients. They do it with donations from the community and the local Islamic Center, as well as partnerships with hospitals and nonprofits taking off from their full-time jobs to come here and provide services ranging from simple checkups to major surgeries. We feel that we are trying to do our part to serving beyond any ethnicity, beyond any religi uh, religi uh, religious boundaries. Jacksonville's Islamic community has grown so much over the years. In the 1970s, there were only about 10 families here in Jacksonville. Now, there's more than 8,000 of them. And as their community got bigger, they say they wanted to give back, not just to other Muslims, but everyone in Northeast Florida. <inaudible> Giving back is one of the pillars of Islam. <inaudible> Something that the local faithful say they'll do no matter what. But in a time when there's so much scrutiny and discrimination against people who practice this religion. How much can you move your shoulder? This public service is healing hearts one patient at a time. I hope, you know, this thing will, in a bigger picture, try to, you know, change the face of the Muslim in this country. To qualify for this clinic, patients need to be below the poverty level, without any insurance, and living in Duval County. I mean, it's very, very helpful. We are really blessed. It's a huge help for this family who just moved here from Albania. It's tough to be a single mom and do everything by yourself and take care of your parents. <laughs> they say this shows the true colors of people who are often misunderstood and wrongly judged. There's no discrimination based on anything. Um, so a lot of people have definitely been surprised about it. The clinic is not about spreading the Muslim faith. It's more about faith in mankind. And what day is good for you for your primary care? Helping other humans, regardless of their backgrounds and beliefs. And they really helped me when I needed help. And I should point out that not all of the volunteers at this clinic are of the Muslim faith. They come from all different ethnic and religious backgrounds. After spending some time here, I saw people really get some incredible help medical attention that they otherwise would not be able to have. It also cuts down on the load at local emergency rooms, which usually have to shoulder the debt for the poor who can't pay for their bills. The clinic right now is open four days a week, and if you qualify, you can call them to set up an appointment. If you like what they're doing, you can also donate your time or your money. We've posted everything you need to know on our website, news4jacks.com. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.